guys, Mr. Gaming here. Welcome back to another episode. Sorry I haven't uh, uploaded in a while. I just wanted to release a video showing my thoughts on what's going to happen with Season 5. Now, Season 5 isn't all I'm going to talk about in this video. I'm kind of going to be talking about how the rest of uh, Fortnite's lifespan is going to be, but my predictions for Season 5 is it's going to be similar to Season 4. They might add some new location. They're going to make a killer skin. They've been making better skins every season, going from the Black Knight to John Wick. The Omega looks amazing. Um, but yeah, we're really excited to see what's going to happen. But my question is, when is Fortnite going to start kind of dying out? Now, we all know the whole PUBG versus Fortnite thing, and that could be the end of it, but I highly doubt it. There's a lot of speculation, and speculation isn't confirmation, so... All we have to go off of right now is there's going to be a lawsuit. But when is Fortnite popular, popularly going to lose its sort of, like, shine? Like, of course, servers are never really going to be empty. Like, TF2 servers aren't empty even though the game is proclaimed to be dead. It still has a player base, but it's not as big as it used to be. And my question is, is when is this going to happen to Fortnite? My prediction is somewhere a little bit farther into Season 6 or 7, if the whole um, thing with PUBG and Fortnite goes out well in Fortnite's favor. Um, I think there will still be a decent millions of players playing it, but it will slowly decrease over time. And um, yeah, I'm kind of interested to see where it goes forward from now. Uh, I think people could kind of start feeling a little bit disappointed because with all the leaks coming, you're never really surprised anymore. For example, the Visitor, or the uh, Blockbuster skin, whatever you want to call it, was a total surprise for um, the first seven weeks, but until about week five or six, they um, there was a leak showing what the Visitor is, and it kind of just ruined all expectations. And there's no surprise, because people already knew what they were getting. Now, that's not the same, for example, the Omega. You're looking forward to that. But, like, the Visitor was a big secret, and it was a little disappointing to see it go online before it came out. Um, for those... I know I didn't see it before it came out, but a lot of people um, will just, like, be seeing the visitor on accident and then being disappointed to know that the thing they've been waiting for forever was anticlimactically ended of course that could not be the case i think eventually they're gonna run out of places to spread fortnite to right now i think fortnite's kind of at its peak it has a great update uh with the new weapons that have been added and well with the nintendo switch approving of fortnite that's gonna keep it really solid I think something could happen other than just Fortnite becoming unpopular. Someone like, say, Ninja really screwed up and did something or said that Fortnite's bad, hates Fortnite. Stuff could happen that could really just ruin the Fortnite community. Um, give me, that, give me your opinion on what you think is going to happen with Fortnite. Uh, do you think it's going to, like, because no game can stay alive forever. Like, Unreal... Unreal, um, what was it, Unreal Tournament, uh, was the biggest game forever, and it started, um, it started dying out, we, um, after graphics got better, gameplay got better, I mean, if you guys saw the trailer for, uh, Super Smash Bros, uh, 5, you could see at the end where they, uh, find Ridley, watch that, and think one day that's going to be what the game is. That's going to be what the game looks like. Then Fortnite will kind of be left under the dust. Because you'd have to completely change Fortnite. But give me give me your guys' opinions. Uh, I really want to hear what you guys think. And thank you all for watching. Uh, see you in the next video. Peace.